Good morning, welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Tuesday, June 3rd, 2014. In the Ukraine right now, a major military operation seems to be underway. The government has mounted a, uh, an attack against rebels in the eastern part of the country. Meanwhile, President Obama appeared in Warsaw in Poland with the Polish president in front of four F-16s, uh, indicating that he will continue to bolster Poland's military as a member of NATO and defend it against any encroachment by Russia. On Thursday afternoon at the Elysee Palace in uh, Paris, President Hollande is going to be hosting a early supper for President Obama and then usher him out of the building and then host a late supper with Russia's President Putin, ensuring that the two men do not see each other. Uh, they will not see each other until they appear in the general group at the uh, Normandy uh, observations of the 70th anniversary of D-Day. Meanwhile, using the war metaphor again, the phony war, that period of time before the German invasion of France in May 1940, uh, seems to have ended between Aspen Insurance and Endurance. Yesterday we reported that uh, Endurance had released details of a second bid for Aspen that had been rejected. Now we have the uh, rhetoric that goes with it. That bid had been a, uh, an improvement of $2 a share up to $49.50 a share. Um, in a strongly worded response to the bid, Aspen's chairman, Glenn Jones, said that the proposal represents an even lower multiple of book value than its initial proposal, and the stock portion of the proposal lags even further behind given the decline in endurance stock price since the initial proposal. He went on, in addition to grossly undervaluing Aspen, the proposal represents a strategic mismatch and based on our conversations with major clients and brokers, would result in significantly greater dis-synergies than endurance claims. Finally, uh, this proposal represents a backward step given Aspen's strong 4.4% book value growth in the first quarter. Endurance's new proposal represents an even lower multiple. Endurance, of course, responded, quote, the shrill rhetoric of Aspen's deeply entrenched board merely underscores the need to give its shareholders the voice they deserve, which is exactly what our actions are designed to do. What Aspen's board and management have failed to achieve for 10 years, we are prepared to deliver today. Mr. Charman is understood to be uh, using Bermuda law to try to force a uh, proposal direct to the Aspen shareholders to be able to obtain a vote. Bloomberg News is quoting analysts saying that uh, they understand that Endurance will continue to aggressively pursue Aspen. Meanwhile, Brian Dupereau, the CEO of Hamilton Insurance, apparently has opted not to join the fray in the bidding for Aspen. Some banking sources had speculated last month that Hamilton Re might in fact be trying to acquire Aspen, although Dupereau firmly closed the door on that in reports yesterday. Florida reinsurance pricing has renewed with uh, decreases that average between 12.5% and 20%. This is according to Guy Carpenter. Uh, Carpenter noted that some accounts had actually seen rate decreases of up to 25%. Believe it or not, uh, these decreases are a little bit less than the uh, worst case scenarios that have been predicted. Meanwhile, the uh, Tropical Cyclone Forecast Team from Colorado State University, led by Klotzbach and Gray, that would be Dr. William Gray's son, has increased its forecast for this coming hurricane season. Uh, they said that the uh, slower than expected development of El Nino and a warmer Atlantic Ocean means that they're going to add one more storm, one more named storm. They had predicted in April 9, now it's up to 10, but more importantly, they have increased the chance of a uh, major hurricane making landfall. Uh, they had previously forecast a 35% chance for a hurricane with a Category 3 hitting the U.S. coastline. That's now up to 40. Um, that, of course, would have uh, very negative ramifications for the insurance industry. Yesterday, King Juan Carlos of Spain announced that he was going to abdicate in favor of his son, 46-year-old Prince Philippe, Today, protesters have taken to the streets of Madrid, Barcelona, and other cities calling for an end to the monarchy. Uh, Juan Carlos had led the country's transition from uh, fascism under Francisco Franco to democracy, but recently the royal family has fallen into disfavor as a result of several scandals. India's Minister for Rural Development has been killed in a car accident. 
Um, Gopinath Mund, 64 years old, was on his way to a victory rally for in, his, in his home state of Maharashtra on the western coast of India when his car collided with another one and he was killed. This deprives the newly uh, elected Prime Minister of India, uh, Narendra Modi, of a key ally. Uh, Mr. Mund was to be the uh, Minister Against Poverty and was instrumental in plans to reform the country's economic infrastructure. India's roads are amongst the most dangerous in the world. Uh, Fifteen people die every hour in car accidents in India. Mr. Mund is the third senior Indian politician in the past 13 years to die in a car crash. Yesterday in San Francisco, the uh, cable cars and the bus system and other things stopped running because the transit workers went on strike. The San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency operated without two-thirds of the vehicles and zero cable cars that would normally be operating. It's illegal for the operators to strike. The uh, agency is going to demand uh, notes from doctors before they are allowed to return to work. And what's the probability of Korea advancing to the last 16 teams in the upcoming World Cup in Brazil? According to the insurance industry, uh, the odds currently stand at 55%. Four years ago, in the South Africa Cup games, they were only 48%. Uh, why does this matter? Well, large sports events uh, cause insurance companies to forecast the likely performances of participating teams and individuals. This is because many businesses take out extra insurance policies to cover their additional marketing costs during the events. To capitalize on the World Cup opportunities, some companies offer to provide 500 people with gift certificates if uh, South Korea advances to certain rounds, in this case the quarterfinals. Insurance companies, of course, base their premium rates on expected probabilities. Korean Re, a reinsurance company, attributed Korea's improved chances in Brazil this month to the fact that the team has more favorable conditions than in South Africa. Statistics show that Russia, Belgium, and Algeria, the teams that Korea will now face in the initial group, are weaker than the rivals that it faced in South Africa four years ago. I had no idea that insurance companies maintained uh, sports analytic sections. That's very interesting to know. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.